<laughs> Hello and welcome to the Slingshot channel. Cannons can be a lot of fun, but they can also be very, very dangerous and kill people. But sometimes a cannon can save lives by curing cancer. That's right. As you may know, my wife is a medical doctor and she works in the field of radiotherapy. And basically what these guys are doing is they are shooting at cancer with a immensely sophisticated and outrageously expensive ray cannon. A veritable ray gun. Very few people have actually seen a thing like that without being affected by the disease, a terrible disease. Um, but it is really, really impressive how far technology has brought these things today. And we want to take a look. We want to learn about how it's, how it's going to work. And we'll do that, of course, with interesting experiments. Because I found a doctor, actually a very cool guy. He's actually a double doctor, can you believe? And um, he works in uh, one of the private practices that do radiotherapy in Bonn. So, uh, and he okayed to uh, answer some questions and show me the machine at work. And in order to simulate a human body, which for ethical reasons we're not going to show, I have brought a melon and some beef liver. Let me show you its features. <laughs> the idea is that we're going to drill a hole into the watermelon, about to the middle of it, and then we insert a walnut-sized piece of the liver, which will simulate a tumor inside of a human body. And then we will find out how the doctors are going to treat this simulated tumor with their, with their uh, expensive machine. For that purpose, I, of course, need a trepanation tool. <laughs> and this is it. It's just a piece of steel rod. And as you see, I sharpened it. But I also inserted a Stanley blade into it. Not sure if you can see this well. Let me show it to you. I inserted a Stanley blade into it here because my idea is to hammer it in to about halfway through the melon and then turn it so that I tear the uh, watermelon tissue off and can extract the core. And then I'm gonna put the liver inside and put the core back in and close the whole thing again. Okay, we need to go in until about here. So a little bit over halfway. And first we're gonna extract a little piece from the, uh, of the skin, like so. Okay, and hammer in. All right. Now we turn this carefully. Yep. All right, now comes the liver. So we open the teeth. Mmm, nice and slippery. <laughs> ah, that smell. Okay, now we need to cut off a walnut-sized piece. Take a medical scalpel. <laughs> Viking area. <laughs> okay. I think about this piece should do. Wow. These cold steel swords are sharp. Wow. Okay. I'm gonna eat those later, so carefully put it away. Yummy. We put the liver inside, like so. Careful. Like so. Okay. Now we put this piece here back in. Patch. Our cancer patient. <laughs> now let's drive to Bonn to see the doctor doctor. And here we are, the Strahlentherapie Bonn Rhein Sieg. That's the building. It's a beautiful new building. And it's a bright day, the first day of the carnival here in the Rhein area. Let's go inside and meet the guy. Okay, Dr. Reef, I'm very happy 
that you let me you know, see all this and that you're willing to explain this to me and even work on our little experiment. Yeah, I'm glad to be here and um, let's have fun today. <laughs> okay, <laughs> fun is the right word. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, I, I understand that um, you are a radiotherapist, right? Yes. So you're a specialized doctor in radiotherapy? Yeah. And um, this is a uh, private practice that is completely focused on that. So you don't do anything else, just radiation therapy? Yes, I'm, I'm a radiation oncologist. Okay, so And I'm um, <laughs> no problem. <laughs> and we do this on our departments. Uh, we have uh, four departments in Bonn, okay. Bad Godesberg, Tostorf and Euskirchen. And I understand that you are originally from Austria, is that correct? Yes, it's correct. So the principle I understand is that you bombard the body with highly energetic rays, right? And, um, and what you do is you try to completely destroy the tumor cells, whereas you, wanna, you, you need to let the, uh, let the healthy tissue survive. So you're focusing on the evil matter, <laughs> And the art is to not kill the rest of the body. Is that correct? Yes, you could say it. With a, a linear accelerator, we shoot the photons, the high energy photons, mm -hmm. in the body, so we can do it with a high precision. Mm -hmm. And yeah, that's that's our thing. Okay, great. So I understand that your weapon is actually a cannon, a ray gun. Is that correct? Yeah, we use a linear accelerator. Mm -hmm to treat our patient with photons. I'm fascinated by this because you're using a cannon. And that's of course my realm. But if you're using a cannon, what exactly is your projectile and, and what is your gunpowder? Our cannon is the linear accelerator. Mm -hmm. And this uh, linear accelerator produces uh, photons. And photons are waves, right? Basically, just much like a microwave oven heats stuff with, with microwaves, you're using a special type of wave to kill uh, the unwanted cells, right? Yeah, we use uh, high energy waves and uh, kind of X-rays. Mm -hmm. So you have projectiles. And, and how do you propel them? What, what is your energy source? Is, and what is your gunpowder? Uh, we use electricity for mm -hmm. our linear actor. So electricity just like like a, a power outlet and you don't need any radium or plutonium or whatever? No. <laughs> so I can't, can't plug it into my kitchen outlet, right? Uh, no, it's not <laughs> possible. <laughs> okay, and probably also dangerous, right? Yes, very dangerous. <laughs> the part that I don't understand is how do you protect the healthy tissue? Because when I take my slingshot and use a 20 millimeter steel ball and shoot it against a ballistic gelatin block with a coconut inside, of course I will destroy the coconut, but there will be a wound canal through the entire block and that, that was a pure devastation. So how do, you, how do you not kill the healthy tissue when you kill the tumor? Irradiation is calculated by an engineering person using planning programs. Computer technology. Yes. Mm -hmm. To do the progress in computer technology, even very complicated irradiation techniques can be calculated. The result is a 3D irradiation plan that shows not only the distribution of uh, radiation in the target area, but also the radiation of all other important organs. Okay, so this means that when you, when you drive around the body, yes and then you shoot from one direction where there is no particular organ in the way, you can use a higher amount of radiation. And if you have to go through the liver or the, through the heart or something, you have to, have to lower the dosage from that, that direction. Yeah, is yeah. that as simple as that? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Kind of. Okay. Okay, Dr. Reef. I've brought a patient for you. This is my friend, the watermelon. It has a problem because deep inside of this watermelon, there is a tiny piece of beef liver <laughs> and of course it doesn't belong to the melon. Can you help? Yeah, of course. It looks like a head. Yeah. We can look at the process and the, the planning the, for the treatment mm -hmm. and also the radiation of yeah. this uh, I can't wait. watermelon. <laughs> Let's go do it. <laughs> yes, okay. <laughs> okay, now the process starts with the mask, right? Yes. That's so our mask. I came to a carnival and we're starting with a mask. That's perfect. <laughs>
and, and therefore this is actually the raw version of the mask and it has to take the shape of whatever you want to radiate. So this means that you are putting it into a hot bath and then it will be flexible and then you press it against, or you will press it against my face. And why do we do that? Why do you need a mask? So that we can uh, hold uh, the location of the, of the head. This is simply so that you can fix me on yeah. the table. Yes. So I can't move, right? Right. Oh, okay. During the radiation. It's very important. Right. Because I saw some horrible pictures of people with like steel screws in the head and so on. You're no, no longer doing that. No, no longer. <laughs> okay. For the face? Yeah. That, <laughs> this is for the probably from yes. the back of on the head. back. Yes. Okay. That's fancy. It looks a little bit like the man in the iron mask. Remember that movie? <laughs> Looks a little bit like a ski mask now, right? Yeah, ski mask. <laughs> so, in the beginning of a bombardment, of an attack, you of course first need to define your target. So this is exactly what we're doing here, right? You're, so this machine is pretty much your telescopic sight, or probably your target measurement system. Yes. All right, so, so in a CT, it's, it's, really, it's, it's like a, an X-ray scan, but you not just do one, but you do it in layers, right? So you do a whole series of them, and then the computer will combine them into a three-dimensional picture. All right, you can turn into the computer in the computer and, and view it from all angles. Correct. Right. Right. Yes. And you have no idea how it's going to look like the beef liver inside of the melon, right? No. <laughs> this is no. I, I don't know. So we're pioneers, so to say. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and this is a true experiment. It's not something yes. that we replicate that someone else has done. It's probably the first time. It's ever. our experiment, so we can look at what happened. I can't wait. And, but of course, we have to leave the room doing yes. it because yes. it's just like any other X ray scan, right? Okay. All right, so let's do it. Let's see. Okay, so this is our watermelon. Yes. Fascinating. Yeah. Wow. This is. Uh, our CT scan of the watermelon, mm -hmm. and what we can see here is the, the dark uh, spaces are the water. Okay, so this is the sweet, spongy tissue. Yes. This is more dense here, right? Yeah. So this is the kind of bitter, greenish white stuff that you find in the watermelon, yes. but it's more dense, and you yes. can see that actually the skin yeah. is the more dense part of the watermelon. Yeah, uh, the white <laughs> color. That is, that is the tumor. That's the tumor. That is our, what do you our beef liver. What? Down here. Yeah, yeah. Beef liver. I put Did you beef liver in. Beef? Yes. Okay. Could get Which any beef? Pork, sorry. Which beef? <laughs> yeah, supermarket beef. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is marked with our volume definition. So you paint it in the target yes. zone. So I paint it here for each slice. Mm -hmm. We can define our volume. And we want to radiate just the half of this okay, part. Well, why only half of it? I mean, don't you want to kill the entire tumor? Normally, you radiate the whole metastasis. On the Actually, you want to kill the entire cancer. But in this case, we would scan what I could, see maybe any change ah, okay. of color. So of this, this means that later on, when we cut this open, maybe, maybe, we don't know yet if this. Maybe. This is causing any difference, but maybe we can see the, the difference in the irradiated part and in the non. Ah, okay. So, for the sake of the experiment, you know, yes. sorry, Mr. Watermelon, we are risking yes. your health. Yeah. <laughs> I have called here in the blue color, which is our nerve. So, these are zones that you would normally protect. Yeah. So that you would, you would say, well, this is not so critical, but these are very critical parts. Yes. Like the eye nerves, maybe, yes. you know, and then. Eye nerve, chiasm. And, and those, you would say, can only tolerate a very, very low amount of radiation, and therefore you could protect them. Yeah. That makes sense. So now she is doing the planning. 
she's using the data from the CT and the, uh, the volume that you uh, that you painted in, and now everything will be computed. Yes, this is our um, radiation plan or prepare of this radiation plan, and here is our dose maximum um, in in this case and. Here is our minimum. What we can see here is the, the dose distribution of in each slice. So we, we see here in green our, our dose with 80% of the maximum dose. So this is, this is the area that it will get the most of the radiation. Yes. This is and our focus, so to say. This is our target, our mm -hmm. focus. And at the other side, what we want to protect at this side we have a dose of 20 percent in in this area okay so we can protect this area of our liver so this this is an x-ray cannon right this is the real thing yeah this is our uh, linear accelerator it's um, much different than star wars but <laughs> Probably even more high tech. <laughs> yeah, and, and this is this actually where the radiation is going to be emitted. Yeah. Will be a this is our Vision RT system, which uh, is a scanner for, for the skin and uh, for surveillance uh, of the movements of the patients during the radiation. So that, that's a safety device, right? Yes. So this means that you take a CT to make sure that it beginning of the radiation is in exactly the right position. Yeah. And should he move afterwards, this thing is going to notice that yes. and switch off the machine. Yeah. That's what's happening. Yeah. The door. This is the lead door. This is lead. This must weigh tons. Wow. So now we can compare the original CT scan with the CT scan in the machine, right? Right, yes. And we can see that the position is very much exactly the same. Yeah, we can see the exact position at this target, what we have defined, um, can combine these two CT scans. Let's go inside. Yeah. Mr. Waterbedden obviously survived. <laughs> and it didn't change any temperature, everything looks normal. So, let's have a look inside. Let's cut it open. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So here you can see the tip that we excluded. I hope that you guys can see this on the camera. But you can clearly see that the excluded part has a yeah. different color compared to the part that has been irradiated. Yeah. If it wouldn't have been dead in the first place, it would now be dead. Yeah. Is this now radioactive or can I eat it? <laughs> no, you can't eat it. It's no radioactive. Not radioactive at all. Okay. No. But if you say so. Yeah. Mm. Why not? Mm. Very juicy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Want to try? <laughs> okay. Well, folks, I think that was a rather different episode. I hope you liked it because I certainly did. And Dr. Reef, very much thank you for showing me all this. Yeah. Can can my audience ask any questions if they have? Can they, can they direct yeah, questions sure. to you? Yes, yeah, sure. Okay. All right. Well, then, thank you very much. You're welcome. Hope you liked it. Thanks and bye-bye. Bye-bye.